How do you keep the number of cards down if you are mapping a journey over a number of years? Ah. And this was a question by Katrina. Thanks, Katrina, for asking this question. I think this question is quite interesting because there are two perspectives on this question. One perspective is that the journey uh, covers a number of years. Another perspective is that we have a journey map that we are working with year after year. Hmm. And Let's answer them uh, both. <laughs> yeah, I think that the first thing is that if it covers many years, it's again that we have to summarize it. It's, a, it's again going back to, to what is then a level, level two uh, in this map, even if it's over a couple of years. Um, I mean, I've been in projects where we, uh, where we mapped uh, from people getting their first job to uh, people uh, dying, <laughs> I mean, in, in pension. And it wasn't more than on the level two, it was 12 cards, I think. And that's a number of years. It's like 70 years, you know, 50 years, maybe 50. Yeah, something like that. Uh, that's one of the questions. The other question is, okay, we're going to do this over, over. We're going to work on this map for several years. And I was really happy when I saw this because that's a huge challenge that people do journey maps and then they leave them. <laughs> they don't keep on working with them. And if this was the 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 interpretation with it, with this uh, with this question, I'm super happy that we got it because then you just don't just add things to your map uh, over and over again or or more and more stuff it's it's just as important to take away things to i think that people in their mentality and internally in organizations they think that now we're going to work customer centric now we're going to add even more things but it's really good to have the mentality that what could we take away so over the years, take away things. I mean, look, look for instance on on dis disruptor industry dis disruptors. What are they really good at? Narrowing down their customer journeys. They take away simplifying, stuff. simplifying. Uh, yeah, simplifying things, simplifying how it is to to open a bank account, how it is to to buy something on the net, how it is to order a taxi or whatever it could be. So over the years. Uh, simplify and simplify. That should be the, the, the that's, challenge. That's really interesting uh, like uh, perspective that over the number of years, your number of cards in the ideal situation should actually go down. Yes. That, <laughs> that's, that's a really, uh, really cool takeaway. Um, I don't think a lot of companies are ready for that yet, but um, if you see that the number of cards is actually Growing, that could mean that your first attempt to map a journey wasn't complete. It could mm. be. But mm. at some point, you should sort of reach a maximum completeness. And from there, you shouldn't try to add more. No. No, because the, the, the competitor you have that makes the most relevant journey, it doesn't have to be short. But it will, in most industries, be shorter but the one who makes the, the most relevant journey, they will be the winners yeah. <clears throat> in your industry. So it's a, f from most organizations, it's, a, it's, it's all about uh, taking away cards. Mm. And, th and that's, I, can, I, I guess we're getting back to really the, the essence and the core of journey mapping. It helps you to focus on doing what adds value to the customer and eventually to your business. Yes. So removing, removing friction or improving the existing experience, uh, and and a journey map just helps you to focus. Helps you. Mm. It, it literally points out what you need to do. Yeah. 